Shea with JNAV Cards with another TTM Thursday video through the mail Thursday where I send out cards to some famous people, celebrities, baseball players, actors, politicians, and hopefully they come back signed. If you want the addresses of the people in this video, just hit me up through my email, which is in the description of this video. And uh, yeah, or if you want to know how to do TTMs, you can also email me. I'll send you a um, email describing the website I use and how to best use it to uh, maximize your returns. Got two returns this week. Um, start with my first one. Let's do this one. Okay, so I got my letter back. He did answer some questions, so I'll show that in a second. No cards, but or no index cards, but it's Mr. Adam Greenberg. This is his uh, upper deck future gems card. This was 2002. His rookie card, kind of, with the Cubs. And then this card is a 2013, right? Yep, 2013 with the Marlins. This is also his rookie card. If you guys don't know about Adam Greenberg, he had a pretty interesting um, career. So in 2005, this is all coming off of Wikipedia. I actually knew about Adam Greenberg from his time with the Marlins because I lived in South Florida when this happened. So it was a big deal down there. But uh, in 2005, Greenberg was called up to the Cubs Major League team from their West Tennessee AA affiliate. He pinch hit in the ninth inning against the Florida Marlins. In a game on July 9th, Greenberg was hit directly in the back of his head by a 92 mile per hour fastball on the very first pitch he faced in the majors from Valerio De Los Santos was the pitcher. Greenberg suffered a mild concussion as, as a result of the beaning, was immediately removed from the game. Carlos Zambrano was sent to pinch run for Greenberg and eventually came around to score the Cubs' fifth run in an A2 victory. Um, <clears throat> just bending over to, to tie my shoe left me with headaches for hours. For weeks, Greenberg slept upright, the only way to tolerate the excruciating headaches. He spent the rest of the 2005 season on a 15-day disabled list and continued to suffer from positional vertigo. So basically, uh, for the most part, it didn't quite end his career, but it, it kind of did. He never really got back up to the majors until here. From, 2000 to, from 2006 to 2011, he bounced around in the minors and independent leagues. In 2011, he played for the... Uh, the Bluefish, the Bridgeport Bluefish, his fourth year with that team. And ironically, he faced Valero De Los Santos, the pitcher that hit him in the head that basically ended his career, um, his major league career, uh, who at the time was pitching for the Long Island Ducks. And he did get a single off of him. And it was a, uh, he said, quoted, it was a big deal. As much as I tried to prevent, <clears throat> and Greenberg was quoted as saying, it was a big deal. As much as I might try to pretend it wasn't, it's been five and a half years, and to face him again in a game that meant something and, and get the result to get a hit off of him, it was a special moment. You have the what if stuff. What if he threw that first pitch for a strike five and a half years ago? Greenberg later went hitless in his seven remaining at-bats against De Los Santos throughout the course of the season. He led the Bluefish in several categories in 2011, including triples, walks, and stolen bases. So th now this is where this deal comes in when he played for the Marlins. In 2012, a Chicago Cubs fan started a petition to get Greenberg another major league plate appearance. The campaign succeeded when the Miami Marlins offered Greenberg a one-day contract to play in their October 2nd, 2012 game against the New York Mets. It was a home game. The contract was worth $2,623, which will be donated to an organization that researches brain trauma in athletes. Prior to the game, Marlins manager Ozzie Guillen considered making Greenberg the leadoff hitter and starting him in left field, but then decided he would uh, try to have him bat in the middle of the game and was not sure if he would allow him to run the bases. Greenberg ended up leading, the, leading off the bottom of the sixth inning as a pinch hitter. The Aerosmith song Dream On came on when he uh, went to the plate. That was his uh, walk-on music. The crowd gave him a standing ovation. He was unfortunately struck out by Mets knuckleballer and eventual Cy Young Award winner R.A. Dickey on three pitches and was removed, removed from the lineup at the end of the inning. Greenberg said after the game, it was magical. 
the energy that was in the stadium was something that I had never experienced in my life, and I don't know if I'll ever experience again. He also said he wanted to continue his major league career and hoped he would be invited to the teams to a team spring training in 2013. Ideally, the Marlins. Tops made Greenberg a card. Boom. Uh, but he wasn't uh, invited to any spring training. He did play for Team Israel in the uh, World Baseball Classic. And blah, 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 blah. He's in the National Jewish Sports Hall of Fame. He officially retired in February 2014. And in 2018, Greenberg announced his candidacy for Connecticut's 12th Senate District as a Republican. Ted Kennedy Jr., son of former uh, U.S. Senator Ted Kennedy, announced that he would not run for another term, but he ended up losing to Democrat Christine Hunter Cohen. So in my letter... I asked him, what was it like facing Valerio de los Santos that second time? He said, best feeling ever, a little bit of a redemption, getting that hit off of him. And then I said, did you ever get a chance to talk to the Cubs fan who started the petition to get you back to the majors? He said, still in touch with Matt Liston to this day. He helped change my life and so many others opening the door to my second first at bat. And then he signed it again. And I said, I wish you great health and great times, as I always do. So very cool. I'm glad I got that. I like those like weird niche TTMs like that too. So it was cool to get that from Adam Greenberg, especially since I was very familiar with his story from when he was with the Marlins for one game. All right. My next return is another cool one. I sent these three cards to the San Diego Chicken. Mr. Ted Giannoulis, I think is how it's pronounced, who has like the best penmanship I've ever seen. But he signed uh, two of these, Ted Giannoulis, San Diego Chicken. And then he also signed this Donruss. I think I sent him this one too. Can't remember right now. But he, yes, I sent him those three, I believe. He included this, which is a cool Cecil Fielder card. I'm a Yankees fan, and he played for the Yankees, so I like that. Nice little uh, annoying Cecil Fielder, so I thought that was cool. He signed two of my next cards with his amazing penmanship. And he also sent this, which I thought is awesome. It says, to Jordan, best wishbone always, the chicken. Ted Giannoulis, best wishbones which is obviously a play on words. And I didn't realize this till the next day, but he wrote, Hi, Jordan. Thank you for your truly kind letter. I have many favorite Padre players. I must ask him who his favorite Padre player was. But the tops is Doug Rader, who also TTMs, I believe. Their third baseman in the 70s who had a great sense of humor. My favorite event ever was my own grand hatching in June 1979. Quite a moment. Good luck, Ted. I thought that was really cool. He's been the San Diego Chicken since 1979, as, as he said, with his grand hatching. In uh, 2016, after 42 years of playing the chicken, Giannoulis was still making appearances across the United States, albeit at a slower pace, performing at 11 ballparks in July and August of that year. He expressed uncertainty about how long he would continue or whether he would appoint a successor. It's not the end, he quoted saying, but I can see it from here. But yeah, he was fired in 1979. Another employee donned the chicken suit for a little bit at a Padres game. And fans thought it was Ted Giannoulis still. But um, eventually they booed that chicken when they found out. And a lawsuit was, was filed by Giannoulis. And he won. And in 19, June of 79, he got um, his chicken suit back. So from May to June, he was out, then he came back. So yeah, he's been doing it for a really long time. I don't think he still does it, but uh, if he does, he's he's slowing down. It doesn't say here if he's still currently the chicken. I don't think he does. I don't think he is still the chicken. But if you guys want a really cool signature by San Diego Chicken, hit me up and I will give you his address. He's an amazing signer. I mean, he included these two things, which I thought was awesome, since I sent him three cards, which is a decent amount. So yeah, that's all I got. 
Two Weird TTMs from Adam Greenberg and Ted Giannoulis, the San Diego Chicken. Um, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Let me know if you want these addresses. Email me in my uh, emails in the description down below. And I'll see you next time.